What is going on, you beautiful humans? Apple did not bring Final Cut to the iPad Pro, and it really didn't bring it to iPad OS 15. So we can either whine or we can actually get to work, actually work around because there's a really big difference. I do not need a full laptop replacement, but it's really about taking full advantage of the power that is under this glass. But hey, if you have to hang out in the sandbox with a bucket and a shovel and want to remain in this ecosystem, then we're going to be building. So let's actually talk some scenarios for this workflow because when we get into the actual workaround with LumaFusion and Final Cut, I have the walkthrough, but I've already done a video on the MacBook Air versus the M1 iPad Pro when it comes to the bang for your buck. And let's assume that we've already established that you wanna utilize an iPad to cut video and you really, you don't have to justify this, this to me or anyone else. So if you already have LumaFusion or you're interested in it as an editor, I actually believe that it is well worth a $30 investment. And you can certainly have this to accompany you out in the field. When you are on a shoot, you want to look at that client footage in the timeline on the iPad. And this doesn't even have to be client footage. It can just be your own footage on a project or something personal. And you really just like the form factor of the iPad. And what I will say is that LumaFusion is a very capable suite and many creators actually use this from start to finish. And that for, for that, I would actually say that you can actually start and finish your project without this workaround and we'll just call it a day. And if that is you, then I'll actually catch you back here on the next one. But for those that are actually wanting to do that rough cut in the field or on your sofa, and I mean, for me personally, I'm running kids around uh, to soccer practice and I like to remain productive while I'm waiting and I often grab the iPad. But this can actually allow you to get started and then transfer that timeline to Final Cut when you're ready to grade and add some of those additional pieces that Final Cut has to offer. And of course, a caveat here is that it is also an additional cost for this particular feature coming in at about $20. So do please consider your workflow and whether this add-on makes sense for you. Now, I will actually link up the resources that, that will list out all of the features that transfer from LumaFusion to Final Cut. And I'll recommend that as a resource, a, a really good first step after this video, just to familiarize yourself uh, with some of those limitations. And of course, you will be able to transfer multi-track timelines that have your music tracks and sound design, transitions that are built into LumaFusion, cropping, keyframing, including uh, some of that audio keyframing that you might be able to do. However, color correction and LUTs will not transfer. And, and, and that's kind of a bummer because as stunning as the M1 iPad Pro screen is, I personally prefer to make those corrections on my monitor and with the scopes that I use for grading. And really, I wouldn't necessarily put titles and transitions anyway. I just really want a rough cut solution. So let's actually take a look at this timeline and I'll walk you through the process on how to do this. All right, starting off here, I have a timeline that you'll see. I've got some clips. So I have my bin over here with all of the media on the left. And I figured since people were somewhat kind of bummed about the Apple announcement, why not offer up uh, a pup? So this is a little pup. I mean, who doesn't like puppies? Come on, seriously. So this was a, a, a puppy that we had um, fostered during at the right at the beginning of the pandemic because they needed homes desperately. So we have this title here. I wouldn't normally do this. I would just rough cut, no transitions, but you'll kind of see here, we have some transitions, Lil Pup's playing with Stella, our, our dog. And then if we kind of scroll here, I also have that grid like I did in one of my other videos. So you'll see that another transition here and then they're wrestling. And then even if we if we scroll past here, we've got some other text. And like I said, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Of course, that's Stella just smiling. And you'll also see if we click on this, I have some as you'll see with that audio, because sometimes I actually like to see like have a beat drop on a cut or something like that. So I may want to make these uh, adjustments, keyframing or whatever, you know, I'm kind of looking for. So that should actually transfer. So really not an editing tutorial. This is the workflow. So why don't we, oh, that's, that's pretty funny. All right, so why don't we go ahead and come down here, XML project package. Now, if you haven't paid for this, it, will, it won't be, it'll ask you to, to purchase that. And then we're gonna go to other app or AirDrop because I've got the mini behind me. So if I'm coming home, 
it's easier just to airdrop it. Now, one warning that you may get here is some items in your project uh, are not yet supported. And so just be mindful of that. That might pop up. I, I don't think we're gonna have any issues here. That's why I really just recommend more of the rough cut, but certainly use that resource uh, on LumaTouch, their website to uh, go into like what is, what is compatible. Now, as far as the project settings, full media is everything that's over in the bin here. Oh, like all of that media on, in that either we used or we didn't use. So even the media that you didn't use will transfer over. For me personally, I like to use the trimmed media. Trimmed media obviously lowers that um, footprint as far as the, the files concerned, all of the files you're gonna get. And what it also does is, so everything in the timeline transfers, but it will give you about a two second buffer, two second handle on each side in case you wanna stretch that out a little bit. And then of course, no relink relinkable media or no media, there, that's also an option. But I, I tend to go trimmed media. So what we'll do here is, We'll call this Lil Pup YouTube test. And we are going to write that project. And of course, Lil Pup, we just chose that name because we knew she was going to get renamed when she got to uh, a home. So I don't know, the boys just started with it and it just kind of, kind of kept going. All right, so airdrop pops up. There's the Mac mini. All right, so that's actually getting sent over. So I'll meet you over there and walk you through that process. All right, so we got the documents open here and you will see you will get a zip file. So we will go ahead and unzip that. And then you will see in that folder, you'll have the media from the timeline and those titles. So those become PNGs. Well, so those become PNG. So not something that you can edit, but at least if you needed that placeholder or whatever, uh, just so that you know. Now, what we're gonna do is let's double click on that. And why don't we just go ahead and create a new library? So we'll just call this Low Pup YouTube Test. All right, transferring over. And then you'll see here's the timeline. Starts with that transition. That transition is there. That one as well. We still talk about low pup. We had it for about six weeks. So the title here, I can't do anything with it necessarily. I can't edit it, but it's in there as an image, as a PNG. But you'll see that transition and same thing. Let's take a look at the grid. Oh, that's actually something. Let me convert that because I shot an HLG. Same thing with this one as well. But there's that grid. And you see the dogs playing. And then if we come over here, you'll see that extra and that's Stella smiling and then that transition even for my audio. So I've got these audio tracks here, but then also the music. So again, if I, if I want to keyframe or do cuts to a beat or whatever, you can see that these are still uh, available. So they're still in there. And then as far as that two seconds. So if I scroll over here, you get about that two second handle. Same thing here, about two second handle. And then everything over here in, in my bin, so everything that I've used in the timeline, so nothing extra. All right, so there it is. Hang out with me in the comment section below or over there on Twitter. Listen, disappointment is poison that you shouldn't drink, especially when you can't control the narrative. So make a decision, pivot where you need to, go out there and do those things that matter. I am sending you all my very best. Keep rocking those faces, and I'll catch you right back here on the next one.